Good afternoon, Fenlanders. How are we doing? Welcome to Fenland Farming Adventures. I'm Daniel. I'll be your host for the day. But I had a day off yesterday because Anna's getting waspy with me for doing loads of filming. So she's got about six videos all lined up for you all. She doesn't need any more filming. So yesterday I had a day spraying. I managed to get all my spraying done yesterday. All my uh, manganese, magnesium and uh, copper mix. Uh, done a little bit of pre aiming on the uh, late late drill bits a week just the fields that have got black grass on really but they're, they're well chitted um, but they're not they're not anywhere near the surface so all good yeah we've got the smart farmer out today we're going to go muck spreading the boys are already out there spreading uh, me and grumpy granddad are just mooching around the yard sorting stuff out for a little while grumpy granddad's just gone off to go and get me some sand and ballast jesus that was hard work dad can you go and get 10 ton of ballast and a ton of uh, cement oh well i can go and get a ton of cement on the car trailer Oh, I can do this, I'm going to do this first, I'm going to do that first, I'm going to do the other first. Just go and get it. Right, so we're uh, logged into Smart Farmer app. Right, we click on the 6170R. Machine checks. Right, oils and water checks. Back end oil, we'll go and I've done them this morning. Uh, windows are still filthy, as you can see. But it's going to get washed down in the next uh, few days, I hope. Next week sometime it'll get a good wash down. Mirrors, all good. And wheel nuts and tyres. Save check. Checked them all, rather than boring, yeah? Back end oil, checked okay. Windows, warning, details, still dirty. Save, check, uh, category, minor defect. Description, dirty, <laughs> dirty window. Done, save issue, submit checks. Right, let's go around and have a look at the uh, terror dish. Something looks out of place here, doesn't it? Get my gloves, put them little beauties on. And uh, this is what we've got to deal with. Uh, let's go and get ourselves a bolt. Plonk that in. Can you see? Can you guess what it is yet? All good. Right, let me just go and get a bolt, guys. I'll be back in two seconds. Right, here I am. Plonk a bolt in. No, can't get it in that one. And it needs a little bolt. The smaller the bolt, the uh, easier it um, snaps. So, rather than busting a leg off or putting too much pressure on the uh, machine itself just put a skinny one in there poor old 170 yeah de desperate for a wash and a bit of a muck out in here because she's pretty grubby i told you i always seem to get drawn to the 170 and it seems to have uh it's now going to do loads of work oh. <laughs> i know i know get out of the gate and you know what i've got to do now don't you go and shut thy gate need a blipper need a blipper Oh, yeah. Uh, so we might be uh, doing some deltering. But it doesn't look like there's anyone on the loader, so I'll go and do that. I thought David Waters was coming, the main man himself was going to come and uh, load spreaders, but it doesn't look like it, so I will. I'll, get, I'll jump on the loader and uh, I'll get loading them. Soil's just turning into powder at the minute. Just no moisture in there whatsoever. No, Beardy's not on the uh, Beardy's not on the loader. He's been loading both spreaders then, and they've been getting on. I'll go and load him up. Cool. We'll go and get in the in the loader then for a little while. There, yeah, Rob. At least uh, with two spreaders on the go, I used to do all the spreading myself, and um, it's not it's tedious at all. It's just yeah, it is tedious. Let's say it is tedious. While they're both out there, we'll have a little tidy up. I'm going to end up with two spreaders here now in one hit. Don't think we need the heating on today. In fact, I'm going to turn my hat off. Have my hair cut. How is it? Looking green? We've got to keep Rob on his toes by dumping a load of muck in his uh, muck spreader every now and again. <laughs> Rattling his cage. Yeah, I mean, it, there's one bonus of being so dry that muck spreading is a doddle. Muck spreading is an absolute dream. You don't get stuck anywhere. You don't make a mess. Oh, no. Did I, turn the, did I turn the camera off? I think I might have turned you lot off, but you can hear how windy it is outside. Put one more little dollop of a uh, good cattle mark on there and uh, jobs are good. Off you go then, Kieran. Probably old job. Right, that's barely all uh, loaded 
it up. See if we can have a little scrape up. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way here. Yeah, I'm getting covered in it. Yeah. Mrs. Farmer is going to love me later. Right, seems both spreaders are up and running. I'm going to turn you off for a minute. I think um, it's uh, proper uh, windy out here. I'll, um, I think I'll persevere and uh, do some better filming tomorrow when it's less windy. If that's okay with you lot. Yeah, so it's nice to get some muck put on the old sugar beet fields. A little bit of farmyard manure. Go and get my drill. So I'm going to pick that up. So I ain't got to worry about it tomorrow. And then, uh, yeah, we're either going to do play around with the drill all day tomorrow or we're going to um, go muck spreading. I don't know yet. Cheers, guys. Good morning, Finlanders. How are we doing? Another day, another dollar. Just getting this 170 filled up with dinosaur boat. Hundred and thirty-seven litres of fuel is not too bad for um, Teradisc in two fields. I know I was only going over them really lightly, but I can now uh, fire up my smart farmer app. Loads going on this week. I'm going to carry on getting the uh, six metre drill sorted out. Hundred and forty litres activities, uh, cultivation division, sugar beet, description, delta, cross band. Cool. Submit fuel consumption. Job done. So yeah, let me get this out of the way now. Uh, I can't see what's going on behind me. I am going to clean the windows if I get a second today. They are now properly grubby. But I was hoping to just wash this tractor down really. Get this tractor washed down and uh, put it out of the way. Use the other one for uh, jobs like this. So at least, I'm, at least this is ready to go. This is ready to go for when um, the boys turn up with their muck spreaders. Ooh. So yeah, get this done. I'm going to try and get the wheel back on the Verdestat. What else am I going to do? Yeah, hopefully the boys are coming in to finish the muck spreading. Now the motocross kids are finished, I can get the muck spread on my field. I couldn't really do that and then let the kids go riding, can I? It's a bit of a health and safety issue. So, do that, get the wheel back on the Verdestat. I've got some spraying to do this week as well. Grumpy Granddad and Nutty Nana are off on holiday for a week. Just going up to Yorkshire for a mooch around, which would be nice. So by the time you watch this, they'll be back again. Just generally being awesome. I am still a little bit sleepy. But I managed to go to work yesterday and do some uh, terror discing. I feel like I've achieved. I've achieved. As long as you feel like you're always making progress, you're all right, aren't you? Get the JCB out now. Get her filled up with dinosaur bones. See if I can get it out of the shed without crashing into the shed. And yeah, and then tonight I'm going to have a session session playing around with my uh, Smart Farmer app and uh, get a few more items of machinery dotted on there. Get a few more uh, bits and pieces sorted out so we can just uh, scan them straight away. Beep, beep, beep. I feel a perfect photo opportunity coming on here. I've got to just pipe this up. I took it off yesterday to move a bucket out of the way and uh, forgot to plug my pipes back in again. So you just turn the ignition on and uh, wiggle the joystick around and it releases all the pressure in the um, hydraulics. Well, I assume that's how you do it, but that's how I've been doing it. And it seems to work. I'm going to turn you lot off and I'm going to go and get myself sorted out and get the wheel back on the Verdestat. So let's head over to that. Yeah. We, uh, me and Grumpy Granddad both started uh, on the uh, 6 meter Verdestat. So welcome everyone to the 6 meter Verdestat that we bought. So far so good. A few tyres need sorting out. I noticed that's bent. That should have a uh, just a wing sleeve on it to direct the soil back in again like the other side's got on it. Yeah, and then I got the unenviable task of going around and greasing it all up. That's going to take me most of the morning to grease the bloody thing up. But we went around, pumped the tyres up the other day. There you go. That one's gone flat again, so I'll change that. That one's flat. That one needs a wheel bearing. The rest of them are all good, I think. I'll ring up and get some wheel bearings and some disc bearings. All good. So I don't know when the last time it was greased up, but you can see I changed one wheel already. That's managed to get bent in the process somehow of them using it. Previous owners. Yeah, it just uh, hasn't had much love, so uh, just needs a bit of fettling. The bars that run through here to hold the wheels on are all worn out, so I was thinking about getting some new ones of them. So yeah, this is my day today. Uh, we are going to get this wheel back on and then get the other ones changed up. That one and that one. Get some new inner tubes put in them tyres. I think the tyres are okay. They'd last, they'll last a little while longer. But I also found a spanner on the front there that does everything. So that's kind of cool. My other one didn't come with one of them. While I'm waiting for the muck spreaders to turn up, 
I'm going to put you on a bit of a time lapse and uh, get, get cracking. Cheers, guys. Yeah, righto. I've uh, given up on the uh, drill for a minute, like Dad said, it's not that important to do that in the evenings or whatever. Do that in the evenings and weekends and stuff when I'm not that busy, but if I've got the muck spreaders coming in, I really want to get this field mauled around a little bit more with this pteridis. And I really want to get the uh, level harrow on, get the level harrow on and, and try and fill some of the little holes in that the motocross kids have made. It kind of seems pointless to spread the muck on it and then drag the muck, drag the muck into one, one hole with, uh, with the level harrow. So yeah, his dad's right. Tell me something else. This is my day today then. I'm going to take the terror disc out here and uh, plow on with this. So Grumpy Granddad's just going to dug the level harrow out. That's been hidden for ages. Well, we haven't used it for ages. But the level harrow, Dutch harrow, is real good at real good at leveling out the field. So uh, I'll get this. I'll get this field all fluid so it move easy, and all the grassy bits and stuff all uh, pulled around. And probably Granddad's going to put the level harrow on the six six ten, and then probably come and join me. But yeah, he's going to go off on holiday today. So you right? Nah, that one. Yeah, yeah, that one will do, won't it? That one will do the, do the job. <laughs> Grumpy Granddad was right. Like, get on with something that needs getting on with, rather than mucking around with your drill. So I'm excited. And then he goes, oh, we need to get the level harrow going. So, all right. Go and get it sorted out for me and on a tractor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to empty the skips first. I'm going to do that job first. Like, well, I can do that later. We all have our uh, good moments and bad moments, don't we? Yesterday was a glorious day for being hungover, and today's gonna to be a glorious day and I'm not hungover, so it's great. Nice, cold, sunny day. My favorite day. I like the sun, don't get me wrong, but I like the sun when I'm sat with a cocktail in my hand. Yeah, uh, winter time's my favorite time of the year. Morning, David. Yeah, so David's coming over with his tractors because he left his spreaders of mine the other day. He'd probably leave me at mine again tonight, I'd say no point running spreaders home there's no point really running tractors home if you don't need to yeah i did offer him the uh i did offer him the yaris to uh cruise around in keep his tractors and his spreaders at mine right now we're gonna now we're gonna lift up and just do this half where the motocross kids were i mean i've run out of time now i can't i can't get the level hour on the go now oh well we'll start over the other side of the field and uh and go from there that's all we can do you can see in here how unlevel the whole situation is. Where the tractor keeps moaning and groaning and then going like mad and then moaning again and kind of going like this all the time where the bikes have made it all ripply. It'll do it good. By the time I've been over this field like three or four times with this and the level harrow and stuff, we ain't going to need to worry about ploughing it because it'll be as fine as wispy as fresh as what it would be if you did plough it. So. I'll sign out here now guys and uh, I will reconvene in a very short time when I'm on the loader I think. Now uh, here we are, David's just turned up and they're yeah, getting hooked on their muck spreaders so I'm going to take the uh, terror disc back in the yard. The uh, Delta, going to get rid of that. And uh, go and get a JCB. Go and uh, get start loading them up. Give me a good workout today won't it? I lost my glasses, so I went and bought a new pair. They're real comfortable, these Oakley glasses. I don't know what I've done with them, but I've lost them, so uh, it is what it is. Grumpy Granddad's obviously moved my uh, JCB and realised I've already filled it up. He's put it back in front of the dinosaur bone tank. Get this out of the way. I'm so happy with it. It was an, you know, sort of an easy fix with the loader. Well chuffed that fixed itself. Well, Grumpy Granddad fixed it, so um, well chuffed that he uh, fixed that for me. That was a wire running across the top of the um, the fan, the engine fan, the cooling fan. So that was a bit of a, a bit of a bugger. The clips are either come unclipped where somebody moved it out of the way or something. I don't know. And uh, just the fan had been catching on the wiring, so Grumpy Granddad fixed all that. We were away. Right, folks, we figured it out. JCB problem sorted, sort uh, sort of. Not sorted, sorted, but you'll see when I pan the camera around. I'm gonna take my jacket off to get to a bolt. Try and give Grumpy Granddad some room. He is the resident electrician in this joint. You know we had a problem with the earth on the electric fuel pump. Dad just hardwired uh, an earth into it. And we thought, oh, we sussed it. And then all the electrics failed on me the other day. Just, just stopped. Here we go. 
See all that? Been running and chafing on the fan. So, what a treat. That's our job for this morning. So, two bolts in there, one underneath there, which I'm struggling to get to, and one at the back there. No harm, no foul. Yeah, I can film today, because David's got a special tractor on the farm at the minute. Prototype tractor. I can't show you it, <laughs> which is annoying. Uh, I'm not allowed to film it, because it's real cool. You might have seen it the other day, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I can't tell you. David's just doing some development work for it, I think. But you've got two nice shiny new Holland's here, look. A T7225 and a T7270. They do a good job, they seem like nice tractors. You don't seem to have too many troubles with them. So, see if I can get this straw loaded in one of them to start with. Oh no, that's a bad way to sit. Right, at least I know which way the wind's blowing now. And now I've just covered the loader in uh, straw. I've got to get all this string out of these bales. I've got some bales here to break up, so. Oh, I missed, I missed one string. Come on. Go and get some string out. Hang on. Need my gloves. Damn handbrake buzzer. Touch your head in. Like, I know you're supposed to put it on before you get out. It's not gonna roll away anywhere, is it? It's flat. See if I can catch all these um, strings in one hit with my tine. Pull them all out at the same time. Got, got a few of them. Ah, oh, Jay's making donuts at the co-op. Ah oh, man. You all remember Jay, come and help me out. I called her the master baker. <laughs> Oh, bloody windy out there. Blooming windy. Just trying to get all this string out of these straw bales for a minute. David's uh, David's got a probe gone down on his tractor or a hydraulic uh, spool valve or something playing up a little bit. So he's just uh, just playing with that. Right, let's see what he's got to say. Ooh. Right here, here I am. David's just gonna give me a hand to get the string. Ah. My uh, King of Babylon cup. Yeah, you can all address me as the King of Babylon now. Well, no, Dad's the King of Babylon. I am the Prince of Babylon. Get some uh, brown face paint and uh, tart me up a little bit and I'll be uh, looking legit. Full Team America. Because obviously Babylon, the ancient civilization of Babylon was uh, in Iraq. So, ah, spilled me tea. Ah, now I got a wet leg. Uh, like being old. Yeah, David just said I'm gonna stop for a cup of tea, so I was like, I only had one cup of tea yesterday. Not clever, not clever at all. Just about snuck enough time in to go and get grab myself a brew while they had their had their tea. But they're rattling on now, guys. Proper windy out here again, so I can't really put the drone up because it's blowing a gale. People are out there putting fertilizer on in this wind and stuff. So we get a nice uh, still day. I'm gonna change my nozzles over on the sprayer and. And, and gun it and go for it. Get my fertilizer on. I don't know what they. I think, I think they come and talk of it coming cold again, don't they? Let's have a little weather check up. Every, obviously, the weather's different for me cousin Martin, who's only half a mile away, than it is for me. So maybe some rain around on Wednesday, maybe some misty rain around on Thursday, and maybe some rain around Friday and Saturday. So I can only hope. Um, today is going to be sunny, tomorrow cloudy, and Wednesday is going to be a little bit rainy. Well, not, not bad rain either. I know it was windy the other day. I mean, their spreaders, like the steam coming out of the spreaders, just goes. I don't really get much rest bite with um, with two spreaders on the go. One person on a loader is uh, pretty hard work. I mean, they're both going to be back here at the same time now, which is not annoying. It's just don't give me any chance to have like a little bit of downtime, like and move the camera around. So uh, work comes first, YouTube comes second. So yeah, all all I can do is film me being me. Hello. Oh, that's a good cup of tea. I've got to try and drink my tea now. Ugh. David's laughing at me. I've got to have a cup of tea. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to film the, uh, David's got a 300, uh, T7 300 or whatever they are. New tractor, pre-production model. David's got it to, uh, put some hours on it and, uh, and then, uh, they keep, they keep coming and getting it and taking it back to the factory and, uh, doing, to alter in a few bits and pieces for it. Obviously, David does a lot of hours. They picked him to do it. Um, the new, new Holland, obviously, I'm talking about, guys. Beardy told me not to film it the other day, just because basically they hadn't launched the tractor yet. Which is fair enough, David said they still don't want it filmed, but he said it don't, it don't matter at all now, because the tractor's out itself, so. You might have seen it on a little bit of the previous 
fit to this video with Rob in it. Big old man mountain that is Rob. He's on it. Yeah, I mean, they love it. I like the look of it. It's a good looking tractor. The only thing I don't really like about it is that steering wheel computer. It's like an iPad in a steering wheel. So I try not to get it on film too much, but if you see if you see a tractor that looks like a 300 and it is a 300. Yeah, so Beardy told me not to film it because they didn't want it filmed. They had a road run the other week and uh, they weren't allowed to take it on that. Made in the UK, so what more can you ask for? I don't know, I don't know what whether everything is all made in the UK. Engines, transmissions and everything like that, or whether they just bolt it together here, I don't know. Well, at least they're made here, they're put together here, aren't they? So that's something. I just got a minute now before David gets back. Well, he's literally on, he's literally on me straight away. As soon as Kieran's gone and moved out of the way, David's turned up over my shoulder, so I don't get a lot of time to do anything at the minute. Ooh. Nice to have somebody else to talk to on farm, you know? Normally me and Grumpy Grandad are doing all the work ourselves, but that's yeah, nice to have somebody else to have a little chat with and a little natter at tea time. So when I was a kid, there was what? I don't know, about 15 or 20 people on, on the farm when I was a kid. You end up with sitting in the canteen with them all and eating all their food as a little child. <laughs> I think I was about five or six. Where they was all sit, all the blokes and the women and stuff would all sit and have their cup of tea or whatever and go and join them. But you don't get that now. Don't get it at all. So my cousin was rolling in the field next to me yesterday afternoon, Sunday. Don't cost me anything to ring people, does it? Uh, these days. So I spent about 45 minutes on the phone to him, talking about his holiday. Like a little pair of old women. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. He's just come back from Mexico. Mexico. Did anybody else get the? the bucket and mark up to the spreader and then hit the hit the grab lever instead of your boom in and out. I've done it a couple of times now, just dump I either end up dumping the load of muck on the front of the loader or I end up tipping it the other side of the spreader. These spreaders are good, they're mega. It was pre pre YouTube I think. It was before uh, we started doing a YouTube channel that I uh, had my spreader. I had an old Richard Weston spreader. We're really properly stupid on the back of a 6190. A little 10 ton spreader on the back of a 200 horsepower tractor. I mean, that spreader would have been a big spreader in the 80s when tractors were 100 horsepower. I still managed to get it stuck a few times, not gonna lie. But yeah, it just seemed to take forever. And now David comes, comes in with these 1,000 speed PTO driven spreaders. You know, when mine was only a 540. They fling it so much further. They spread it so much better. It's unbelievable. And I, I haven't got to spend three weeks running around like a headless chicken trying to cover some ground with one little spreader. Well worth selling my spreader and just getting David to come in and do it. Loving all the comments guys, two comments especially. Robert, you left a good comment with us the other day saying how good the YouTube channel is and somebody else, somebody else fired us a message the other day as well and said, in all my years of watching YouTube and stuff, I've never seen the brake testing going on and uh, and how uh, awesome your channel is so I can't thank you enough I mean they're proper kind words they are so get subscribing folks and get sharing and liking and telling your friends about us really because yeah it's just um it's gone mental considering where we was at last year I just uh, can't appreciate it anymore so yeah we've got a smart farmer app as a little sponsor so if you want if you want a uh, discount on smart farmer app it's spendland 10 there's a code to use on that and uh, Mark will help you sort it all out and set it all up uh, like he did me. You can do all your daily checks, you can put all your fuel checks and stuff, uh, fuel usage, daily checks, health and safety checks, your tractor is good to go. You know when anything's broken, instantly know when anything's broken. So but if you go home at the end of the day and somebody else is gonna drive your tractor the next day, they know full well that your tractor is all good. You've checked it out, you've left it in a correct state, you've uh, checked it over before you've left, you know, and, uh, and that's where it really comes into its own. And also it comes into its own with the police as well. Because if you have an accident on the road and the policeman says to the car driver who's trying to blame you for uh, not having an indicator or whatever, you can then go on your app and documentation to say you've checked the tractor and you trailer over. You know, everything was working this morning when I left the yard. Then you go back to the car driver and say, well, where's your documentation of how you check your car over in the morning? You know, it gives you, gives you a little leg to stand on. So uh, it really is working well for us. My next mission is to try and get Grumpy Grandad on it. <laughs> He's not computer literate. He's totally uh, down with the kids. Grumpy Grandad is all over iPads and uh, computers and stuff like that. Uh, iPhones and everything. Not beyond him to do it. 
he came in last night and said, how do I get this app on my phone? He knows his stuff, he knows what he's doing pretty much, and uh, if I can get him to use that, it'd be even better. So, I'm gonna sign out here for a minute, guys, and uh, carry on loading. Cheers. Hello, folks. Happy afternoon. Sorry I haven't really shown you much of what I've been doing, but I can tell you now, I've been much spreading. Yeah, I stink. That's what I've been doing. Poo flinging, as Anna calls it. Yeah, we're now done. I'm gonna have to get some more muck to put on this field. We haven't put it on anywhere near the uh, legal limit, shall we say. And uh, we've got, I don't know, a couple of spray wheelings left to do. I knew I knew I was gonna be short on muck because I started tipping muck on here in uh, mid-August, I think. Late August? No, late August. Yeah, it must have been late August. When you leave the muck on the field for that long, it just rots down to nothing. All the worms in it and stuff eat it and it ends up being like less straw like and more compost like. Yeah, last couple of bucket fulls now are gonna go on David here. And then we're done for a little while until I can get to one of the pig units and clear them out. They rang up today as well and said, um, would you come and clear us out? So I can do that. And then we've got Farmer Dan, he wants clearing out a little bit as well, I think. So um be nice to get all the muck rather than storing it all year, which doesn't make any sense at all. Get it all on the field where it wants to go. Mm. Good mark. And I fed a kestrel today. I've had a kestrel flown, he's floating around here now. Just come back for a mouse, and uh, there's a mouse flying around here, uh, running around, mouse flying around. I know we're in the fence, but he's back again. He's watching, he can see it, I reckon. The mouse just took off out of the muck, and he came and got that, and now there's another one just took off and then come out of the muck, so. Kestrels are not stupid, they uh, they know where the mice live and stuff and they're like little predators, well they are predators aren't they? So mm. just uh, come and swoop in and, and nab him, which is kind of cool, is why I like my job. Love where I live, I'm surrounded by nature. Kestrel's good. David and them are gonna, I don't know whether they're gonna leave their spreaders here again today. Ugh. Or take them home with them, because uh, I know he said he's got some hoods to put on them. He's got some special hoods to put on them when he does chicken muck chicken litter, chicken muck, whatever you want to call it. Got some special hoods that go on there, so he was probably gonna run them home, run his spreaders home, and uh, job to get it. I can go and get my uh, 6170 with a terror disc on and uh, get pulling this in. So that'll be tonight's job. Gonna go and have a cup of tea first. We've got most of my potato field done and my two sugar beet fields done the other day as well, so they're all good. I'll let them I'll let them be for 10 days or more now and, and then I'll let them chit and uh, see if there's any black grass come through them and, and then here with my hopefully finished verdistat, one of my six meter verdistats all up and running, I'll just uh, race over them with that, mix the muck in even more, knock the chits down, like the weed, the weed chits, knock them down, then probably go in another 10 days after that with a subsoiler maybe, I don't know, or the, or I might put the miniature Grange toolbar on, on the four meter vertistat, subsoil it and uh, cultivate it, go over it with a drill and just leave it at that and drill it, drill it with sugar beet. But we are done, we are finished. Good morning Fernandez, another day, another dollar. I'm just gonna try and finish this video out with my day today. Today is all about getting some fertilizer on, I think. But first, I'm gonna go finish my uh, terror disc in as I uh, was finishing playing around with it last night. As you can see, one of the advantages with having Bunded fertilizer tank is it fills up with water, which is great. So me and Brad Dog are now pumping this out. Did delightful. Leave that running for a few hours. Hopefully that'll uh, clear my backlog of uh, moisture that I don't need. I've got the 170 all checked over with my Smart Farmer app this morning. It's all good. Windows are still dirty. So um, Anna got an email yesterday saying caution, the windows are dirty, <laughs> which is kind of cool. So if you had something wrong, everyone in the company gets an email to say something's up, which is great. No excuses then, is there? Come on, Brad Dog. Take my little bear back and put her in her kennel. By the time I've wandered around and opened my gate up, she might be back. She's getting old now, bless her. She's like 12, I think. Yeah, she don't go very far on a walk nowadays. But yeah, we managed to get all the muck I had yesterday all spread, which is awesome. And then I've got a load of muck to do, so I'll get that done and then hopefully I'll get my fertilizer put on. I might go and do a load of manganese, magnesium and copper again, just on the bad bits of fields. Mainly the blacker fields more than anything. But some of the white fields have got some bad bits in as well, so proper out of breath. I just want to go on holiday. Thinking about somewhere in Norfolk, up by the coast, just for a weekend. Recharge my little batteries. Come on, dog, you walked the wrong way. I said get in your bed. Can't come with me on the tractor. There's another farm sale tomorrow, so you know me and farm sales, I can't keep away. Right, let's get it done. So it's a bit of a bitty old video where I was flat out yesterday on the loader. David um, 
David and his two spreaders don't give you a lot of respite between between loads. So yeah, I was out there till oh, I don't know about half eight last night. And uh, my brother-in-law was like, "You going back to work?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'm going back to work." And then and then I couldn't be bothered. So half eight was the finish time last night. I really had had enough. I haven't managed to do anything else on the uh, six meter verder stat yet, but we will do. Ugh. Get the door locked up. Back in a second. Amazing how uh, Rizzy, amazing how busy this road is um, with the road shut. So I think the first thing I'm going to go and do is just pull the muck bottoms around. Muck bottoms, obvious, obvious reasons. Don't pull where all the muck was. Don't pull them around quickly for five minutes. Yeah, just go around the outside of the field and uh, freshen her up. <clears throat> all this grass and stuff will all come back to bite you when uh, when you're planting potatoes. So you're better off getting rid of it in the winter time than you are trying to get rid of it in the springtime. Simple trick. If I end up having to plough my fields, I will do. But if I don't, I probably won't. Just get the uh, 6215 all hooked up on the plough and off we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cup of tea coming out of me. Cousin Martin in the field next door looks like he's mowing all his pheasant covers down and stuff. So all go in the fence. So I just want to come out, ooh, we're still going backwards. Just come out here and uh, just get all the grass and rubbish and stuff. I know I've got loads of trees in the way, but you'll see in a minute that it's nice to just hit the grass around the outside if I can and got room. So then we'll get back to finishing the muck off. We're all good. Right, now we're finished with the Delta, we'll go and get a muck trailer on, shall we? Get this unbolted. Right, while we're at it, we'll just go and check on our uh, hose pipe. Still running, we're all good. Let's have a quick check before you're about to, I'm about to lose signal and uh, battery power, so. Let's just see if we can find some wheat coming through here. God, that is hard. Where Grumpy Granddad rolled it. Jesus, that is hard. Want some moisture now, guys? I would have thought. I would have thought the seed would be coming through very shortly. Look how fuck this. Kind of like concrete. Maybe rolling it wasn't such a good idea. I don't know. Jesus, man alive. Need a pick, I think, to get into there. Oh well. There's seed in there. I know that. Let's try a different place and see if it's any softer. Wheat seems to like a firm seed bed, but I mean, Jesus, that's a... <laughs> There's one, look. Wheaties! Yeah, won't be long. So everything's still running. That's still running. Humping out of there. At least I'll be out getting there and uh, not get wet feet now. Humping out of there nice. Gone down a couple of inches. Right, 170 off. You can see we've uh, got the field all dealt with in. Nice. Terra disc done a good job. So the next time I go over it will probably be with a six meter verter stat. Just to tidy it up and clean it up a bit. Right, you're in the cab with me now. We're going to get a load of muck done and maybe get the, uh, get the loader moved over to the other pig unit and I could just do one load every day or uh, five loads every day depending on how much time I get ready. It'll be all good. Everyone's now chucking fertilizer around so that's my job for this afternoon I think. Let's go and get some fur put on. There we go, we got the trailer dumped. Ta-da, empty trailer. Happy pig unit. Get this puppy parked up out of the way. And then we'll get the sprayer out of the shed. Go and put a thousand litres of water in there. Take her out on the field and uh, get my nozzles changed over. See if I can reverse this now without hitting anything. Voila! I might even put my hat back on. Remember folks, we got loads of hats. Go and get yourself an awesome bubble hat. They're mega. They're proper comfy, proper cosy. Proper lovely. And hoodies. Mrs. Farmer's got loads of hoodies now. She loves them. Says they're the most comfortable thing she's ever bought. So that's cool, isn't it? Hmm, that's weird. Seem to have a new truck in the drive in the in the shed. Oh dear. Feel like Grumpy Granddad might be spending some of my inheritance. Ta -da! I know Grumpy Granddad said he wanted a uh, truck with um, an automatic gearbox. He's been looking for a truck for ages, so. It's commercial, I think. 
It is a commercial. Comes with loads of ratchet straps as well, look. The dogs can get in there, they can run around and cover it in crap and my truck will be totally null and void now. I can get my truck washed and cleaned up. 163,000 miles. Lovely. So, okay then. He seems to have got himself a new truck. Right, let's get the sprayer checked over. I haven't managed to put the sprayer on the uh, Smart Farmer app yet, so I've just got to check the oil and water. Get this puppy all fired up. Yeah, she's got some of that in there. Hmm. And uh, every John Deere owner will know what this bit of wood is for. <laughs> Make sure she's got enough water in her for the day. Let's go and see if we can find a bottle of water somewhere. I did have a bottle of mix, antifreeze mix somewhere. No. That grumpy granddad might have moved it. All right, I'll go, I'll go and find myself some water and I'll reconvene in a second when I've got the bonnet down. There we go. Just filled out with water. Get his puppy out of the shed. Ooh. Combine's moved as well. Hopefully grumpy granddad ain't smashed that into the shed. It has been known. It has been known. A pancake day today. Yay! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's bring Cookie. Hey Cookie. Yeah, I'm still trying to work out all this Instagram malarkey. I don't know how Instagram works, but apparently you need to put hashtags on there. What's a hashtag? Why would you put hashtags on there? Someone please explain it to me. I haven't got a clue. I haven't got the foggiest idea. Anna's like, you need to hashtag this and hashtag that. That's my impression of Anna. Hey, mate. Oi. Right. Yeah, not bad of you. Yeah, not too bad. I'm uh, gonna put my fat nozzles on, Cookie, and get on. Cool, yeah. well, I'll, I'll get my nozzles changed over, Cookie, and then put the kettle on. Right, let's get 1.23. Uh, the sulfur fertilizer I put on with the sprayer is um, a different specific gravity. One liter of water equals one kilo of uh, weight. And the density kilos per liter is 1.23 on the sulfur plus 12, no, 20, 20% nitrogen plus 12.5% sulfur. And then the straight N is 1.3 kilos per liter. So there's a bit of difference. Um, you soon get yourself, let me put that back to one because I'm gonna fill up with water to start with. 4,000 I don't need. Uh, let's go for uh, 600. Just put 600 litres of water in there and weirdly my tank volume was saying it was empty a minute ago but now it's saying 128 litres. So put 600 litres in there and I'll go out on the field and I'll get the nozzles changed over and then I will just make sure my nozzles are all running right. So I've had water through this last time, now I've had water through it again, so we should be all good. Cheers guys. Right, prayer is all pressurized up. Let me see if I can find somewhere to perch you and I'll put you on a time lapse. Uh, we're just gonna get our uh, ni uh, night trial gloves on and uh, get on with it. I'll have to keep moving and panning the camera around. Monkey donkey, there's no flat edges on the bloody spray on the irrigator. Oh man. There you go. You'll see me. I would say that was pretty successful then guys. Uh, just water coming out of here. So I've had water in there, put a thousand litres of water to clean the uh, manganese, magnesium and copper out on the field. And uh, that's the first time ever, I think I've ever put my nozzles on and uh, not had to unbung any of them. So, awesome. Just take my gloves off. Sweet. Turn that off. There we go, where are you? There you are. So yeah, we're all good. Nozzles on, done, and done. Get folded up now. Go and have a look and see how my tank's doing for uh, emptiness. 
Yeah, that's good. Normally I end up sitting there for a half an hour, just uh, some of them have got a bit dirty and all whatever and they're not. When you spray with normal chemicals and stuff, you have a spray pattern that sticks the water to the leaf, but with the uh, fertilizer, you don't want the, you don't want the fertilizer to stick to the leaf that bad. So you end up with a droplet that you don't want to break up. If it breaks up, it sticks to the leaf and then you end up with you end up with scorching i'll show you some scorch there's no way around it really I'll, I'll end up with some scorch on the on the crop at some point but only a mild bit yeah so yeah all good happy days it's always good to, i mean i put a thousand meters of water through my sprayer just to uh i was cleaning the uh, other little nozzles out and stuff you know i just went and sprayed five or six hundred liters of it out uh on the field and then while I was out on the field, just cleaned a few of my nozzles out and stuff because they got a bit dirty in them. And yeah, so another thousand litres of or six hundred litres of water. Just put it through to uh, make sure your um, next set of nozzles are all clean. Just uh, get you a little bit of a helping hand rather than being out in the field covered in fertiliser, which can happen. It's pretty horrendous, hor horrific stuff this fertiliser. So it's highly corrosive, it's highly abrasive and uh, it does not do your hands and stuff any good. It stings like mad if you get any on you. So, you try not to, but it does happen. You know, put my gloves on, I've got my overalls on that'll come off and go wash, get washed in a minute. So, we're all good. I'm going to see how my pump's doing. i leave this here for a little while until, um, <laughs> until my pump is finished pumping out. By the looks of it, we've still got a fair way to go, yeah? There's still a fair bit in there, so I will switch you off. And I'll go and have a cup of tea with Cookie. Let me get this changed over. Look, you can uh, put in the specific gravity. So there, you got one, 1.23. And then we'll go 4,000 liters. We'll have some of that. Um, I'm gonna have to come back up here and start it up again in a minute anyway. So I will switch you off and then go and have a cup of tea. By the time I come out for a cup of tea, hopefully my tank will be empty and we can get on. Cheers guys! Yeah, glorious afternoon folks. What a difference an hour mate. The sun has come out, dust is flying, uh, a little bit, blowing around a bit. We are out putting some fertilizer on. Me and Cookie work down about 260, 20% uh, nitrogen, plus 12.5% sulfur. So there's no sulfur in the atmosphere anymore because we've cleaned the atmosphere up. Nobody's got a log, uh, coal burning uh, fire in the house anymore, so um, we're having to put man-made artificial sulfur on. That equates to about 60 kilos of nitrogen per hectare. As you can see, this is my field. And that's where the sugar beet was lifted the other day, which you would have already seen the video. And I re-drew it, well, drilled it in behind the sugar beet. Yeah, I'm gonna miss that bit, obviously. Just do the bits I need to it. Simple, really. I mean, with some rain expected tomorrow, that'll be absolutely perfect. I want the soil to be moist to about, I don't know, that far, I suppose. Good inch of rain tomorrow will uh, put my mind at rest. I mean, we're gonna need some rain at some point. The reservoirs and rivers and stuff are all still like at drought level, you know? They would, they're, they're empty. So, I mean, if it stays like this, we'll be planting taters in uh, a, few, a few weeks, dare I say it. The, the land would be lovely and warm. It's up to know what to do, isn't it? I, I think we're still in like full spring where at some point the beast from the east is gonna turn up Dun, dun, dun. and uh, give us all a massive cold spell. A foot of snow would be great right now. Just let me get my fertilizer on and let the wheat take that up first and then um, we'll go from there. But yeah, it's going on a treat, this is. What does everyone use uh, fertilizer nozzles wise? I've got the Land Crip umbrella nozzles and they seem to do a pretty good job. They do a really good job actually. I've had like one, one year where I scorched a load of wheat but it, it grew out of it. As long as you don't burn the flag leaf, as long as you don't scorch the flag leaf, you're okay. So what now, I mean, it's the 21st of February now, so it's uh, really quite early still for putting nitrogen on, but the weather's right, the conditions are good, so we're, we're at it. And then what I like to try and do, and it seemed to work really well last year, is when I think the flag leaf's gonna come out, as soon as I think that flag leaf's gonna come out and uh, say hello, then uh, then I'll get it on. Like, especially the milling wheat, it seems to do a real good turn, that does. You wanna do it about four or five days before the flag leaf comes out so that doesn't get any scorch. And then, then you're all good. Now I'll explain to you what the flag leaf is when we find one. You ain't gonna find it yet. That'll come out in about mm, April, May time. Yeah, fertilizer going on, a good dollar of rain. I can put my feet up. 
nature do the work, let nature do the work. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little update on what's going on. I'm now on my second load, two or three more loads to go today. Uh, but it's pancake day! So I'm gonna go with my nieces and Mrs. Farmer. And uh, we're gonna make some pancakes, some American pancakes and some cornbread. Some cornbread! No, I, I read in the recipe earlier and it says put onion in it. But I never put, I, I didn't think you ever put onion in cornbread. That's very odd. What'd you say? Onion in cornbread. No, maybe I've got the wrong recipe. I don't know. But we'll, uh, we'll put some pictures on Instagram of, uh, of all our uh, antics making uh, food and baking and stuff. It'll be very good. So, yeah, just a little update. I mean, this is what we're doing. Travelling's going really well. The sun's out. What a beautiful scene that is, hey? Beautiful. So sunny, in fact, I think I'm going to have to take my top off. Now, this is my longest, longest field, this is. So, it's like 800 metres long. It's ridiculous. It's a long walk from one end to the other. Afternoon guys, second load of fertilizer done, I'm going to go make some pancakes and some cornbread and have a nice little feed up with Mrs. Farmer, my sister Anna and all the children involved and uh, I'm going to sign out here so uh, thanks for watching today's video, a bit of a mix and match of all different kind of things we're doing at the minute. Uh, I'm not really set on one job at the minute, I'm, I'm kind of moving between all sorts of stuff so Thanks for watching. Uh, it really appreciate it if you consider liking, subscribing, maybe sharing, leave us a comment. Let me know what you're up to, how your day's going, how your week's going. And uh, don't forget, we've got hats and clothes, uh, hats and clothes, hats and hoodies, and uh, clothes and stuff all out on our Etsy page. So get over to Etsy and go and get yourself a hat. It really helps support us channel. So cheers, guys. I'm going to uh, see you in the next video. I think in the next video we're going to have. Possibly me going to a uh, farm sale. I'll see if I've got time. I've got some seed potatoes being delivered and uh, I really want to go to this farm sale, but if I don't get time, I don't get time. So we've got seed potatoes coming tomorrow. Hopefully it's belting down with rain. We have an inch of rain overnight or during the day tomorrow. I can carry on with the bird that. I'll go to the sale. If it's too windy, I won't go fertilizer spreading, but if it's fine, I may go finish some fertilizer off. Or, I may just go and carry on into the night tonight after we pancake. After I'm all fueled up, I'm going to do one more load now before tea. Hopefully all the girls will have sorted themselves out and uh, I'll be ready to flip some pancakes about. Um, so there'll be probably pictures to follow because it'll just get chaos. Chaotic, should I say. So, um, yeah, thanks again guys. Um, the subscribers is really flying now. Um, couldn't be more happy. Anna's happy, I'm happy. So. We'll see you on the next one. Keep on troshing, boys.